Welcome to another edition of Ask Snappy and today's question comes from Romario from Rio, Brazil and he asks that he does not know any coding but can he still create an app using Appy? Hi, I am Abhinav Girdhar, founder of Appify. Before I answer this question for you, I have a question for you. Have you ever thought about creating an app or a website? If yes, then do comment below with yes. If you haven't, then do comment below with no. Yes, Romario, with appypy.com, you can certainly create an app without any coding knowledge. So let's get started. What you simply need to do is open appypy.com and click on get started. Once you have done that, AppyPy's app builder will open. And now you need to add your business name. It could be your app name, it could be your business name, or it could be even your potential company name that you have in your mind. You don't have to worry because you can always go back and change it later. So I've added my business name now. I'm creating this demo app for California Pottery. So I click on the next button. It asked me now for the purpose of the app. So the main purpose of my app is to sell the pottery that I'm creating. So I'll type it in sell pottery. You will see that the app builder automatically realized that I'm trying to sell pottery. So it added the store feature into my app. So now I'll go back and click on save and next. Now I need to create an account. So I'll use my Google Gmail ID to sign in. Once you have logged in, you will now come to the pricing page. Here you can choose the plan that best suits your need or you can also go with the free plan for now, like I'm doing. Once you have done that, you will now land on the app installation page. On this page, you can install your app by sending a text link of that test app on your mobile phone using an SMS or you also have the option to scan the QR code using the camera of your iPhone or Android phone. And if you're having any difficulty in terms of installing the app on your phone, you can subscribe to the daily webinar hosted by our team. Now that your app is installed, you can test the app, you can play around with your app and if you require any further edits, you simply need to click on edit app. Once you've done that, you can start making multiple changes into your app. And the best part about AppyPy is when you make these changes on your app, like I'm making these changes now, and I click on save button, the changes reflect on the app on the fly. And you do not have to reinstall the app each time. You simply need to update the app by closing the app and reopening it, and the, all the changes are reflected on the app for you. Once you're fully satisfied with your app, you can publish your app to Google Play and iTunes. And to do that, you need to log into your dashboard, click on My Apps, and from My Apps, you need to go into the Go Live section. And there, you'll have all the steps that you need to publish your app on Google Play and iTunes. Like Romario, you can also create an app for your blog, maybe for your restaurant, or your church, or for your small business, and that too, without any coding knowledge. What you simply need to do is open AppyPy's app builder and start creating your app today. If you found this edition helpful, then do subscribe to our channel and share this edition with your friends and colleagues on social media networks like Facebook and Twitter.